Jazzy TV. Back home with my regular equipment. My equipment. I do love my equipment. Have I told you how much I love it? Oh yeah. It's just everything feels so solid and uh, dependable, serviceable. Very happy. Oh, we got a little bit of a problem with the angle of the equipment here. Okay, I just fixed that. Well, wait a minute. We have to uh, relax the equipment a little bit. Put down. This isn't the right height. Okay. Martin Zender here back at headquarters, which is a lot easier to manage. I can tell you that. It was catch as catch can on the road. It's not like, you know... I took a trip and then just stayed somewhere, relaxed. No, I took a trip in order to take several trips. Always on the move, always on the move. So again, I was exhausted and sleep deprived, but great time to spend with family. Now, the last couple of days, whew, what an emotional roller coaster. Wow. I told you how much I thank you and your comments yesterday were just as terrific as the comments the day before so i've exhausted adjectives i know a lot of adjectives i've studied adjectives my entire life and i've run out of them to describe my thanksgiving for you so what i'm going to do i told you that this this last two days have inspired me to give you a teaching on the body of christ on the very practical aspects of the body of christ and how the body of Christ is a living organism. It really is. It's mysterious. But it, it just works like your heart and your lungs work. Right now, your kidneys are processing the liquids that you take in and filtering out the bad stuff, keeping the good. The body is an amazing mechanism. So is the body of Christ. It's not not a mechanism it's an organism and the reason why whenever we get together oh by the way the conference but the reason why we get together and we all start talking and we all act like we all like seems like we've known each other our entire lives is because of that common head which is christ so the conference at my homepage, page it looks like there's right now like 40 people coming already that's the latest there could be more every time i turn around somebody new is coming you don't want to miss this now i'm going to be driving eight hours to get there i would drive 10 hours to get there would i drive 12 i don't know uh, i'm not a big fan of driving these days but i would fly in that case but if you're Within a 10-hour drive, just go for it. You don't need to RSVP. Don't be shy. Just show up. You'll figure it out. Make it an adventure. It's going to be great. So go to the homepage, martinsender.com. Look at the conference details up there. September 3rd, 4th, and 5th. It's not too late. So it's going to be a great thing. But now, the body of Christ. See, we all get along and get the and when we get together we understand each other because we're united by a common head just like the human body i've said this before but it's a perfect analogy christ is the head we have a head our body wouldn't do anything without the brain the brain tells the body what to do the body acts accordingly christ directs the body like a master director and each part of the body each member of the body does his or her own part and we complement each other Somebody said in one of the comments, Martin, you've been there for us day after day after day. Now we're here for you. It's like, ah, oh, that is it. That's what the body does. But it's so physiological. And in one verse in Colossians, Paul goes into anatomical detail. He doesn't just say the body of Christ. He goes into the digestive system and the skeletal system. You might not even have known this passage exists. That's right. Paul uses the digestive system and the musculoskeletal system of the human body to explain, try to explain, how we are related to one another. And 
I dare say that membership in the body of Christ is stronger bond than blood. Yes, it is. Many of you know this. Even better if a member of the body of Christ is your family member. That's, I mean, that's the double bonus. You've, you've won the lottery twice. God bless you for that. Now, in 2009, I wrote a newsletter. I had a, before I did the ZWTF, I did something called the Clanging Gong News. And in Volume 1, Issue 24, from July 25th of 2009, the title of the newsletter is A Community of Believers. There it is. And it keeps working every day. And I saw, I bore witness to it. I felt the joy, the happiness of being united to you in these last couple of days, especially a community of believers. Many of you feel alone. I do too. That's why it's important to go to the conference because you have nobody to share this good news with. Those you do share it with give you the leper treatment. So take heart. You're not alone. Even though we are spread out, we're not alone because there's this mystical, I shouldn't call it that, spiritual reality to our union now and one of the key elements of it is it is united we are united with an invisible bond we don't need a conference we want one we want to see each other we don't need a building you see the church is so the outward christian church is so panicky that if they can't get together if the government tells them they can't meet they just can't they just fall to pieces they're afraid the government's going to shut down the churches. Well, I'd actually, before that, that would be one of the better things the government will have done. I don't want that to happen, of course. But you know what I mean. We have something more real than the, the forced union of visible, organized religion. Let me read Colossians 2.19. Listen to this. Paul speaking. He's speaking of Christ, out of whom... The entire body being supplied and united through the assimilation and ligaments is growing in the growth of God. The entire body, you, 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 and me, we are being supplied, ongoing, constantly, through the assimilation and ligaments. What is this? Well, I'm glad you asked. Assimilation... Now, for, for one thing, I'm quoting from the Concordant Literal New Testament because other versions have joints and ligaments. But joints and ligaments both pertain to the musculoskeletal system. Now, Paul mentions that once with ligaments, but assimilation has nothing to do with the musculoskeletal system. It has to do with digestion. You are part of, we are together part of, we are an imitation of the digestive processes in the human body. So let's start with this assimilation because, yeah, I had to look it up too back in 2009. Assimilation, I mean, I know what it means in like a, a social way. People join another group, they, they mesh, they mingle with another group, they assimilate. You take different groups of people and merge them. But the Greek word translated assimilation is hafe. And the English element there is touch. Now, when it's used physiologically of the human body, as Paul uses it here, it means, this is what it means, quote, the result of food coming into contact with the digestive tract. So I'm going to get into more detail there. In this show, yeah, it's not going to be a 10-part show on the digestive tract and how it applies to the body of Christ, part 8. No. Although, huh, I know, you wouldn't put it past me. I wouldn't put it past myself. So there are two things happening to the body of Christ in this, in this passage. They're being supplied and united. The supply comes from the assimilation. See, look, watch. Paul says the body is being supplied, supplied and united through the assimilation and the ligament. So the supply side is associated with the assimilation and the united part is the ligaments. See? There's a divine order to these things. Now all this all this is a figure. 
of course. The body is a figure of speech. But the, this figure of speech, this is important, listen carefully. This figure of speech is describing literal truths. Figures of speech, even though they're, they're figurative as stated, they're meant to illustrate literal truths. But when we see why Paul is bringing this up, we'll see how surely and literally God takes care of us as a unit. No, I didn't, I didn't say as a eunuch. No, I said as a unit. Come on now. So, I'm going to get to assimilation. That's the cool one, but yeah, I'm going to start with ligaments. In the Greek, sundesmos, sundesmos. They're bands of white fibrous tissue. I'm describing the ligaments in the human body. Bands of white fibrous tissue that connect bones and hold them together. I want you to picture how snugly the ball of your femur fits into your hip socket. You're not even aware of it. When you're walking and you're running and you're crossing your legs... The only reason you could do that is that the, 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 the head of the femur is attached to the hip socket with ligaments and it moves so smoothly and with no pain generally. I mean, yeah, that when you do have pain, you have problems there. Of course, bad things happen. And you could say bad things happen among members of the body of Christ once in a while. We throw a hip. Hey, let's you and me have a talk. We're throwing a hip here. We don't want any artificial hips. But this is how surely we are united to each other, at least from God's point of view. We are tucked as tightly together as the leg bone is connected to the ankle bone. The ankle bone is connected to the foot bone. The foot bone. There's, not one. No, there's many bones in the foot. Forget that. So the body is united by ligaments. And it's what knits us together. I had a graphic illustration here. I'm going to show you uh, this from... It's always risky when I, you know, show you what's... Try to show you something on my computer because I can't see what I'm showing you. But let's give it a try. So, anyway, see, I have this nice little x-ray of a leg. This isn't the hip. This is the... Uh, this is the femur connected to the the tibia or is that the fibula that's the tibia so in this little illustration i have this like you're in denmark or insert your country or your state here you're in poland you're in michigan you're in south africa i'm in ohio but look but look we are joined together paul is using this under the inspiration of the holy spirit now as an example of how the body of Christ is united. I hope you could see that. I couldn't see what I was showing you. So, it's snug. And it doesn't squeak. It's well lubricated, generally speaking. So, that's ligaments. Now, the assimilation. Remember the definition I gave you? I don't remember it. Oh, yes, the result of food coming into contact with the digestive tract. Okay, your question will be, what does food coming into contact with parts of the digestive tract have to do with the body of Christ? Like, are we one big, large intestine? No, of course not. We're the small intestine, actually. The small intestine. Because that's where the magic happens. See, let me give you a little anatomy class here. The large intestine absorbs water from indigestible food matter. Yeah, it sucks the water from stuff the body doesn't need, and then, ah, you know what happens next. Ah. But the small intestines, ah, the small intestines where most of the nutrients, you see, the food hits the small intestine first after it comes through the stomach, is where most of the nutrients from ingested food are absorbed so the small intestine gets first dibs and it grabs what's needed it grabs the nutrients when it touches the nutrients 
this miracle of absorbing food into the body by the small intestine occurs via little finger-like projections called microvilli. They line the small intestine. I mean, they're like hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of them. I don't know. Yeah, millions of them. They're lined up like soldiers in the wall of the small intestine, and, and they, they, they feel for the food. I mean, they, they, these things are nuts. Okay, let me show you this. I'll try this, okay? So here's a, like a big view of the of the villi. This is in the lining of the small intestine, right? Then here's a bigger view of them. This is them right here. Can you see this? But this is a blow-up version of, see? They're just hundreds of millions of little little hairs. They kind of wave, wave in the beautiful fluids of the small intestine, but they're not waving in vain. Oh no, my friends, they are, they are gathering information from whatever is coming through, whatever the stomach sent on. After it broke down the food, the stomach sends it on to the small intestine, and these microvilli come alive and they start vibrating and touch, touch. It's assimilation. The food is touching it, and it is, by contact, by touching, pulling the nutrients out. And as soon as these microvilli touch the food, they start sucking nutrients from the food and sending it into the bloodstream. So how does that apply to us? I don't know. Ask Paul. He's the one that used it. Well, I know how it applies to us. And this is another reason you need to come to the conference. I mean, this can happen over this broadcast, of course, because we're coming into contact here and you're getting nutrients from me. I get nutrients from you. And we have sensors, spiritual sensors. It's part of being in the body of Christ. Paul says through assimilation. And it's in the, he's using the literal human body as an analogy. It's in the small intestine, the digestive tract. We suck what we need from each other. We feel each other, you see. And I think it's good to touch. What did Paul say? Greet the saints with a holy kiss. Okay, a holy kiss is not uh, this. Okay, it's not. It's just like Clyde Pilkington, lovely brother. Love the guy. When I stayed at his house, he used to kiss me on the neck in the morning. He, he just grabbed me and kissed me on the neck. It was beautiful. That's a holy kiss. It feels good to touch another human being, and we, we need that. Why are we so afraid of it? You know, I'm a big hugger, and I, I love bring, bring, bring the holy kiss. Bring the holy kiss to me. I will bring the holy kiss to you. And the assimilation will begin. But the physical just reminds us that there's something spiritual happening when we come in contact with one another. I've experienced it. Every time I'm with the saints, there's communication. There's transference of information. Somebody says something to me and I said, oh, wow. Ask Mary and Travis this. Every time I have a conversation with her, I get like three show ideas. And if you're a member of the body of Christ and you've talked to me on the phone, you've probably experienced this. Like, oh, wait, wait, wait. That's a great idea for a show. And I'll get my phone out and I'll write down the notes. See, that's assimilation. I'm taking from you because I got my little finger-like probes out there and I'm sucking the life. I'm sending the rest down to the large intestine. Don't be offended. I'm sending the rest down to the large intestine and you know where that ends up that's okay don't feel bad i've been that for other people too they say zender i love this i love this but what you did or what you said here i'm i'm gonna send it down to the large intestine where it's gonna get the water sucked out of it and it's gonna end up in the sewer no offense zender oh no offense taken So, the marvel of these microvilli is that they're just side by side, and they all have one goal. They're all of the same mind. They all, they all just want to get nutrients. They want to grow. They want to grab the nutrients, and it happens by touch. It happens by touch. So, I'm not saying, literally, we have to touch each other. Don't go around saying Martin Zender now is a ministry of touch. Wait a minute. I can write that. That's a great show. Ministry of I like that idea, actually. Ministry of touch. Ooh. Holy touch, holy touch. Okay. Why does Martin Zender start a ministry of touch? Well, he thinks we're a bunch of microvilli. Because we are a bunch of microvilli. And hip joints. And the hip bone is connected to the leg bone. The leg bone 
is connected to the ankle bone. The ankle bone is connected to a bunch of other bones that make up the feet. And happy are the feet and the bones of the feet of those bringing an evangel of good 